Hello guys, God bless you all. Thanks for watching, I hope that you're all doing well. Feels like I haven't come in front of the camera for a long time to make a, make a personal video like this. I wanted to, to come on and, and explain why I've just put a donation button on for the, for the ministry on the YouTube channel. Um, it seems like, and praise be to God, that uh, the prophetic words that have been spoken over my life are, are coming to pass and, and at like breakneck speed. It's just been expanding and expanding. I've, been, I've had prophesied over me, if any of you have been following an international ministry, and I've been in contact with a couple of pastors in Africa and um, some pastors in Pakistan who are with the Pakistani Bible Society. Now, I want to show you in this video, um, I donated, and, and, and for us in the, in the Western world, it wasn't a, a large amount of money. And I was just blown away with what they could do with it and how appreciative they were. You'll see in this video of the people in Pakistan, there was a flood um, not long ago, I think at the end of last month in Lahore in Pakistan. And um, the, the, the members of the Bible Society there, they, they just went to the, a remote area and just a few hundred dollars was so appreciated by them that they even made banners about me and put, put my picture up there in the ministry. And they, they were able to feed like a whole village for, for like a week. It was just absolutely amazing. I was in tears that how I saw the people that were helped and just the gratitude that they had. And I think, you know, each opportunity that we have to bless others is like a gift from God. When we stand before the Lord and, and he says, you know, what did you do with what I gave you? You know, I don't want, I don't want any regrets. You know, I want to do all that we can do. You know, another, another soul saved, being able to, to spread the gospel. I, I intend to go to, to Pakistan in Africa next year. Now, I'm not asking for money and I never will ask for money. It's just an opportunity for those that want to be involved. And like God said to Abraham, I'll bless you that you may be a blessing to others. It's an opportunity to bless someone, to, to give thanks for the Lord. I'm so grateful, you know, to be born in this country and in this time. And, and like it says, I am blessed to be a blessing to others. I, I believe myself like in, in a ministry, if I'm in prayer to the Lord for, for finances, in prayer to the Lord to meet all our needs, there's then no need for me to go and ask people for money. And that's what I will never do. If you're praying for finances and then having to go and ask money, that's, that means your, your prayer wasn't in faith. And it's like being that, that double-minded man, unstable in all his ways, and then shouldn't expect anything. I'm expecting the Lord to provide. And so that's why I'll never ask for money. But like I said, I'm just giving that opportunity for people to be able to bless, bless others. Um, I've been, and, and I'll put a clip on here as well, how I've been collecting some extra money. You know, I'm a, I'm a father, a husband, I've got a mortgage, I've got bills to pay as well. So I, I decided at work that I was going to collect cans and bottles. And that's been ab absolutely financing um, the, the ministry and the donations. Been adding a bit myself as well from my wages, but... It, it, it's amazing, been absolutely amazing, and I've, and I've been um, helping the ministry in, in Africa as well. You know, all to the glory of God. I want to see, you know, the Lord, obviously, people coming into his kingdom and, and the Lord glorified. And um, I'm just expecting the Lord to do some amazing, amazing things with these ministries, both in Africa and Pakistan. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, God bless you all, and um, I'll speak to you again soon. Thank you. So, guys, this is what I've been doing to do my bit to try and help out. I get rubbish bins out the bin where I work as a food court as well. So I go through all the rubbish and pick out, like, cans and bottles and containers. So in South Australia, where I am, I get 10 cents for that. So I go through them all, empty them all out. And um, yeah, been, been what I've been making, work for a couple of weeks and, and uh, get some money and donate it to the people that are in need. As you see, I just put them all, all the cans and bottles in these, in these bags here. And um, yeah, that's how I've been getting money to, for donations.